Good morning and welcome to today's webinar, which goes by the name Real-Time Daily Trading Ideas. Today is February the 20th and I'm moderating our international webinar from our office in Berlin. My name is Alex Raftopoulos and I'm happy to be talking to you. Today we will be speaking about trading ideas, strategies, market screenings and we'll be answering your questions. Before we can start with the actual webinar, we will briefly present the risk disclaimer. Trading with financial instruments offered by Admiral Markets carries a high level of risk, which is not suitable for all investors due to its complex nature. Please make yourself familiar with these instruments by using a demo account if you are a starter. Please feel free to contact us if you need any assistance with that. Please also note that none of this is investment advice. The statements made in this webinar only represent the personal opinion of our traders. You can also find the whole risk disclaimer on our website. Here you can see the schedule for the week. Today it's Giancarlo's turn. And before I finish off with the introduction, I would like to invite everyone interested in trading to try us out and benefit from the best index and forex offerings with spreads of just 0.8 pips. Please feel free to have a look around our website and explore our international activities. And do not hesitate to contact us should you have any questions. Well, enough of me for the moment. Now it's Giancarlo's turn. Good morning, Giancarlo. How are you doing? What's your outlook of the markets for the moment? Real-time day training ideas. Today uh, we uh, have to focus our attention about uh, uh, these news of this uh, evening at eight o'clock uh, we will have uh, the FOMC minutes in uh, it uh, it uh, it it, uh, it seems that uh, uh, the traders and investors want to know something about uh, uh, in details of course something about uh, the last meeting of uh, Federal Reserve uh, uh, it, at the end of January. Uh, I would like to tell you something very important about uh, uh, the position of Fed for uh, next uh, weeks. It's very important to understand that uh, the markets uh, in this in, uh, we have we, we are in a particular situation because uh, uh, it is interesting to say that for uh, for once the Fed driver, uh, could be not the macroeconomic data, but the other way will be the stocks exchange, the financial market. Why I uh, tell you this? We know that at 20 of March we will have the next meeting, and uh, from the last meeting uh, we see a Powell uh, uh, very uh, very carefully, and uh, we uh, take a look at uh, what happened in the stock has changed. So uh, we have uh, some scenario that we have to maintain due to uh, uh, Fed activity. For uh, To understand, um, uh, if the stock has changed, start a, a new a bullish trend and uh, uh, increases significantly, uh, the Fed uh, don't have any uh, problem to rise the rates understand that good macroeconomic data, uh, healthy economy, healthy US economy, and uh, stock change in health. So uh, Fed cannot has any problem to uh, rise the rate. But at the same time, uh, you have to understand that uh, if could be the better moment to uh, for another rate hike, uh, you have to understand that uh, now it's important that how the stock uh, uh, markets arrive at this day of 20 of March. So, um, in the same time, we have to understand that what what will happen with the uh, European uh, economic cycle that we know uh, we are still in deficit. And yesterday, for example, the very bad uh, data from uh, German G uh, Germany the uh, CUW was very, very bad. So, uh, in case the stock market start a great correction or sell off, why not? Uh, the Federal Reserve uh, 
will hardly be able to rethink its rate expansion and stop and, and maintain the last uh, uh, declaration about his aptitude. So wait and see. In the same time, uh, you what, we have another scenario very interesting that could be uh, um, could be uh, the most probably that, uh, for example, uh, the my idea that Powell will maintain and uh, wait and see position because uh, uh, because the the market uh, uh, I think that market remain in a, a choppy range could be remain in choppy range, uh, but uh, in a bullish aptitude. And in this case, uh, la, the, the most probable scenario is that uh, uh, that uh, they all depend on how the stock to change uh, remains. So uh, maybe we remain in wait and see at and wait and see aptitude, but uh, all depend on how the stocks change, rise, or uh, going uh, falling down. Uh, the position of uh, stock markets at 20 of March. Understand that it's very important what I say to you because uh, Trump uh, uh, offer a great influence on uh, uh, Powell, and uh, it's uh, it's probably that uh, now the Federal Reserve in, in the next month maintain uh, this position due to uh, what will happen in the stock exchange. Repeat, if the stock exchange fall, is more probably that uh, uh, Powell could uh, reversal the, uh, the the monetary policy and they could offer a new in injection of uh, monetary adrenaline and uh, uh, we can have a new rise. So for now, what we have to uh, remember too that is that standard of poor from uh, uh, minus 20% of fall of last year, recover the 50% in one month and a half. So it's more probably that the market could continue to rise and uh, uh, try at least uh, uh, to uh, start uh, a new bullish trend for new uh, hikes, historical hikes. So, well, now uh, let we start uh, taking a look at the standard poor, of course. Uh, as you remember, in uh, our last meeting, uh, we uh, we uh, recommend to take a look at this level here in 2756 uh, to have uh, uh, a new uh, uptrend. In this case, uh, in the, the last Friday, the market uh, uh, do a great uh, breakout and we have a great uptrend. And the market arrive uh, in these days in this home uh, yesterday, very near our uh, uh, import smart money resistance in 2789. Today, what we have to do due to uh, the very important news of uh, FMSC minutes is to understand if we have the possibility to break this level, because in case the price remain in this zone, we have a choppy trend and it's complicated to uh, have some uh, buy or uh, opportunity. In the same time, remember that in case the price uh, uh, remain below this zone, uh, we can have some correction. Today is very important to maintain first one, the support here in 717, and the most important, 763. In case we have a strong breakout of this level, remember that the price could uh, uh, have a great correction, at least 30 points, and return here in uh, uh, this important zone that is an old support of smart money that uh, uh, open the market to uh, new hikes. In any event, remember that this week, if we break this level, our target remain the touch of uh, uh, this resistential zone so between 810 and uh, 823. Remember that uh, this zone is very important because we are very near to recover the last smart money entry. And in this case, uh, the market uh, will be uh, ready to start uh, a new uptrend and of course, a new hikes. Let me speak uh, rapidly about what happened with uh, with DAX uh, because uh, 
starting with the daily charts because uh, DAX uh, uh, offer a, a high volatility, but uh, uh, is uh, he is drag from standard poor and uh, remain uh, with the bullish aptitude. Uh, today we have uh, uh, we are very very near our uh, uh, our most important resistance in daily chart here in 11,424 because in case the price break this level we can arrive rapidly in this zone. This zone is uh, uh, at the key point for long-term reversal because if the price remain, come here and remain up this level, we can start uh, a new uptrend, of course, to have new, uh, new hikes. Today, uh, what we have to do is to understand if the zone of uh, uh, 11,265 and 219 could be um, be a, a support for this week, and in this case, the market could uh, charge uh, the long position and start uh, uh, a new uh, acceleration. In H4 chart, you can understand how the zone that we uh, recommend for entry and uh, was breakout today with uh, great power, but in the same time, you know that DAX. Uh, uh, alternate up and down, so it's difficult uh, to manage. And in this case, for today, I would like to remember that uh, uh, we are uh, in a very uh, enormous zone of smart money. I would like uh, uh, to offer you a short, but was impossible because at 12 past 10, the market break a very good uh, level. So what uh, what I can suggest for today is to try some buy stop up this zone and uh, just sorry and try uh, to to uh, to do an entry in this zone it's logical to think that could be better here but we have a range of 30 points that we can reach remember that our target is here so uh, take a look at this zone today if we have a breakout with the stop of course of uh, maximum uh, 30 points and uh, we would like to arrive here this is a, a little aggressive position but uh, if we want to have more uh, uh, certain you can uh, try to entry up uh, the 400 point in the same time for uh, uh, the short uh, i suggest uh, to wait at least uh, the break of this level because uh, this is a very important uh, support zone for today yeah, until the price remain up of this uh, level uh, we have uh, uh, we remain with uh, uh, bullish up so below this point we can start and uh, sell stop stop of course of 30 points and we would like to reach this support zone that in case we have a strong breakout uh, could give us at least this level but we can have uh, a very strong uh, sell-off in any event remember that uh, this zone uh, could be used for reversal and for now remain uh, for uh, new hikes uh, for uh, ducks just i would like to show you how our uh, last suggest was very good with that is long uh, take perfectly the uh, the target uh, and after the price uh, reversal now uh, let me explain something about uh, euro dollar because euro dollar break our zone of 1.1292 but uh, then again uh, a more strong sell off uh, the european central bank and federal reserve control this range of uh, euro dollar and uh, we have a great problem because it's difficult to manage so uh, we hope that uh, tonight with the fed minutes uh, could uh, have uh, more volatility for now the the range remain between 1.13 1.15 the price uh, uh, um, uh, this reversal could uh, uh, be explained by the brexit optimism and uh, the, uh, the the weakness of USA dollar in any event uh, if you want to try something some longer wait at least the breakout of this level and after this resistance remain uh, uh, we remain always with the, the the idea that until the price remain below 
this zone is difficult to have a long term uh, uh, reversal. At the same time, below this zone, uh, it's useful to try some uh, sell off, some uh, sorry, some uh, entry, but in any event, the price uh, need to break this zone of 1.12. 23. Rapidly, uh, we are going to speak about uh, what happened with the uh, pound because uh, um, uh, the, the pound uh, maintain uh, uh, wait uh, some update from Brussels. Uh, this uh, uh, this moment, the price uh, remain uh, bullish uh, due to some uh, uh, some correction because the investor uh, bet for uh, a good resolution of Brexit. And uh, uh, of course, uh, this, uh, uh, this, this uptrend uh, is due to uh, USA and greenback weakness. In any event, uh, uh, we, uh, we would like, I would like to remember that price uh, respect our zone. So uh, up 1.30, 1.31, 1 the price could have, uh, a great acceleration, bullish acceleration, and try uh, to do a strong breakout of this smart money zone. Uh, remember that up 1.3172, we could have a great uh, acceleration, and the price could offer 100, 200 point of gain. So take a look at what happened here today or next day, and in especially in this zone, uh, up the zone of 1.32 we can have a great uh, reversal and start a new long uh, bullish term, a long uh, bullish trend. Now, uh, just what I would like to take a look at uh, uh, pound yen because if you remember, uh, we uh, have a long position from the zone. We have reached at uh, the second target here in 132.93 and the price uh, remain up the two, 100, the simple moving average. And in this case, we are very near to reach uh, our target here. Uh, for uh, who would like to try some uh, uh, buy entry, remember that uh, the most uh, interesting zone is located between 132.93, of course, and this uh, support here in 130. If the price remain up this zone and reversal, we can have a good uptrend and start to uh, and try to reach uh, uh, this uh, target. Uh, rapidly, dollar yen and euro yen because uh, uh, the bullish market uh, help uh, to maintain a, a risk, high risk aptitude, and in this case, the yen remain uh, uh, <clears throat> remain weak. Uh, we uh, would like uh, to remember that our idea to try to reach one, uh, 111.31 uh, is real and we can reach this zone uh, uh, very soon at last uh, in these uh, uh, days. Uh, until the price remain uh, up 110, uh, we remain with uh, bullish aptitude. Uh, only below this zone, we can have a new uh, reversal. Uh, re rapidly, Euro Yen, uh, we are in very important resistance here in uh, uh, 125.98 take a, a look at uh, this resistance because if the price break this level we can start a new uptrend with the tar uh, with the target uh, between 126 127.59 uh, um, i uh, finish with uh, uh, gold and oil of course our uh, zone uh, uh, entry by entry here in uh, uh, 54.74 offer a great uh, breakout and we have a reach with the high uh, precision, precision he, our target here in 56.87. Remember that uh, the uh, oil uh, has this great uh, uptrend due to uh, OPEC uh, uh, lead production cut that have contributed to maintain the price with the bullish aptitude. Um, in this moment, uh, it's very, very important to understand if we can break this level because uh, uh, if you remember in, uh, in the past uh, uh, webinar, I tell you that the, the point to reversal the, uh, for long term, uh, the oil is located here in $58. For now, uh, we maintain a bullish aptitude if the price uh, break this level, but of course, uh, we can expect some uh, correction. In any event, uh, the, our 
support zone is located between $55 and uh, $54. And uh, just below this zone, we can have uh, some uh, in reversal and the price could accelerate it. But uh, for now, remain with bullish attitude, help with, uh, um, uh, with uh, uh, the, the bullish attitude of uh, uh, indexes. Now, let me finish with uh, gold because we have reached another target, the break of uh, 1,324 offer has a great, great, great uptrend. We have reached our target here in uh, uh, 1,349. I have done, I have had two targets more because uh, uh, you have to understand that the situation um, uh, is due to what happened with dollar, of course, someone can tell me Giancarlo, but uh, uh, gold is in bullish uptrend. And in this case, the, re the aptitude is in risk off and uh, the market could, be, could go down. But in this case, not because uh, uh, the situation uh, is due to uh, Dovis aptitude of Federal Reserve and influence gold prices. And in this case, the, the weakness of dollar help to have a new uptrend. What we have to take a look for these days is first one, the, the intermediate target is located here in 1,349. If the price break this level, we can start a new uptrend and we can reach uh, this zone between 1,366, 375. Of course, it's possible to have some uh, uh, correction. In any event, remember that uh, you can maintain your bullish up in uh, gold until the price remain up this zone. So use every uh, pullback to entry into the gold. I finished telling you, remember that uh, uh, we have a lot of skepticism about uh, the possibility of new hikes, but remember that uh, the uh, smart money use this uh, uh, manipulation uh, to manipulate our idea. In any event, remember to follow the trend. And uh, as I told you in the first part of webinar, the Fed uh, uh, could be uh, move in the next two weeks due to what happened with the stocks exchange. If the stocks exchange fold, the Fed remain with the attitude of wait and see, but as strongest uptrend could help Fed to change the, uh, their idea and start a new hawkish aptitude. With uh, this last consideration, I have finished. Of course, thank you very much, of course, for your attention, your high participation. See you next Wednesday. Have a great week of trading. Thank you, Giancarlo. Thanks for the comprehensive analysis. Thanks, guys, for listening. I'm sure you did enjoy today's webinar. If you would like to review it, you can do so yeah, anytime on YouTube. If you might have any questions, you can just give us a call in our Berlin office and um, basically ask whatever you'd like to ask. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good day ahead. Bye-bye.